Ever pondered over the question, what if a plane fails to take off? That's a question that often sparks fear and misunderstanding. So today, we're here to debunk some common myths and misconceptions about plane takeoff failures. Myth one, plane takeoff failures are frequent. The reality, statistically, takeoff failures are rare. According to the Aviation Safety Network, over the past five years, less than 1% of all aviation incidents involved takeoff failures. Aircraft are meticulously maintained and inspected before each flight, making takeoff failures exceedingly uncommon. Myth two, if a plane fails to take off, it's game over. Not quite. Pilots are trained to handle takeoff failures. They undergo rigorous training and simulations to prepare for such scenarios. The term rejected takeoff is used when a pilot decides not to lift the aircraft off the ground due to a perceived anomaly. They are trained to react swiftly and appropriately, ensuring passenger safety. Myth three, the plane can take off at any speed. This is a common misconception. There's a specific speed called V1 that pilots must achieve before they can safely lift the aircraft off the runway. Falling short of this speed can result in a failed takeoff. Pilots are trained to monitor the speed meticulously during the takeoff roll. Myth four, all takeoff failures result in catastrophic crashes. This is far from the truth. In fact, most takeoff failures result in aborted takeoffs where the plane simply remains on the ground. It's rare for a takeoff failure to result in a crash and even rarer for it to be catastrophic. Myth five, if a plane engine fails during takeoff, the plane will crash. That's another myth. Modern aircraft are designed to fly and land safely, even if one engine fails. Dual engine failure is extremely rare, and even then, pilots are trained to handle this situation. In summary, while plane takeoff failures might seem terrifying, they are far less common and catastrophic than most people believe. Takeoff failures are rare, pilots are trained to handle them, there's a specific speed required for takeoff, not all failures result in crashes, and planes can fly even with an engine out. It's important to remember that air travel remains the safest form of transportation, thanks to the rigorous safety standards and training protocols in the aviation industry. So next time you're taking to the skies, rest easy, knowing you're in safe hands.